Today during the Thanksgiving service of Diocese of Wuhabura Greater Kampala Fellowship, which was based on the theme United Service and Growth, the Right Reverend Godfrey Mbisa, who is the third bishop of Wuhabura Diocese, called upon all the believers to always stay united in Christ and love one another as saints. Unity in Christ, everything is possible. And without unity, one, one cannot manage. And it is unity in Jesus Christ, in the body of Christ, which is built on faith in Jesus Christ and love. We have to love one another and we have to unite in Jesus Christ because it's one body. Although we have different gifts, but we serve the same Lord. Although we have the different interests, we have the same Lord. He adds that as a church community, they ought to always invest their families, mostly children, and urge its parents to look after their children in order to guide and protect them for the betterment of their future. All the children are a gift from God. Nowadays, some of the children seem not to have the parents. They do anything they want. Parents will be questioned and asked when to go to heaven. Because going to heaven, you will be asked what you did to your children. You have to be examples to your children. You have to set good examples. And you have to teach them to live lightly. And especially you have to live lightly in order that your children live lightly because actions speak louder than words. Hunei Bosara Mateke, the Minister of State for Youth and Children Affairs in the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, while relating to the sermon preached, urged all the leaders of Kisora District to support the communities for the better development. Not only invest here, but also come and invest home. And of course, by investing home, that will also increase on our togetherness, unity, and also support the communities that we have left behind, which is very, very key. And uh, that's why we are here. And of course, we want to thank him that his first sermon is talking about unity and loving one another and knowing that whatever that we are doing, at one day we shall leave it here. So we should work knowing that uh, there are people we are going to leave behind, especially when you're a leader in every position, if you're in your home, if you're where, you say that one day you'll leave. So what, what name, what are you leaving behind that people will remember you about? She calls on parents to educate their children through taking them to affordable schools. So that they can manage uh, to, to pay for their children, not as a competition. He gave us his clear background, how he started from a very... Uh, very, uh, not a very poor background, but he has reached where he has reached because he has persevered, he was focused, and he knew what he wanted. John Zimana, Kamara, member of the parliament, Bufumbira North, pledged that he will always continue to support the churches since they have guided them on how to manage their people and their work. With all churches in making sure that development uh, trickles down to the common man, to the Wanaichi. He empowers the Kisora district members of parliament to work together in order to devolve the country. When leaders are not, uh, uh, are not united, of course, many things go wrong. This is why I call upon the leaders to work together, mostly leaders from Kisora, uh, starting with the MPs uh, up to even LC1 chairman. We need to work together and we plan for our people very well because once we are, I mean, we are not united, then we can plan for the, even for the district and the country. The believers of Wuhabura are ensuring that they contribute towards the construction of the new cathedral which is yet to be completed. Story compiled by Rita Nandera, Brinko Ategeka for Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.